says that pumpkins are causing climate change. We need to eradicate the world of these orange beasts. They're going to ruin us. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Oh my God, look at these small ones. We can't let them mature. We have to get them now. <laughs> The energy department says that pumpkins are evil and they're causing climate change and we need to eradicate them from the world. We need to save the universe now. We need to get rid of all these evil pumpkins. They're going to destroy humanity for the future and forever and for your children. Destroy them. We're going to smash them into oblivion so they don't exist anymore. Get, we'll get rid of them like the dodo bird. There's a report out today where the EPA is smashing pumpkins in a new video advertisement saying plants are bad because they increase the carbon footprint. They are now smashing pumpkins and they're coming out and saying that sunlight is bad for the earth. <laughs> I'm bringing these to Alex. He'll know what to do. He'll know what to do with them. I'll follow any order. Doesn't matter how insane. <laughs> I have the enemy! I have the enemy! Oh. Ah! oh no! Look at these evil pumpkins! They have come from beyond to ruin the biosphere! Good, Green Police! Good! You, working with the other politically correct people, banning the word mother and father, and banning banning Halloween costumes, yes. have proven how liberal you are! Ah. Now, now, just relax for a moment. Go uh. assemble the enemy over there for execution. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not satire. The Energy Department and others have called for cutting down trees in mass, living trees, and smashing and destroying pumpkins and not letting people grow pumpkins because they put off carbon dioxide. So do your part. Anything carbon emitting, whether it's your French bulldog or your grandmother, follow the example and the orders of our loving saviors at the Department of Energy. <laughs> Public education has trained you well. Look at you, a servile, mindless, unscientific idiot giving us total power over all human life, paying money directly to Al Gore, George Soros, and Barack Obama in the climate exchanges, as well as Lord Rothschild. My minion, you understand by training people that pumpkins should be destroyed, we're training them that you will be destroyed, you worthless crap. <laughs> so, without further ado, I, the noble eugenicist, will take out the enemy of the people via crossbow. Eat this, Charlie Brown, in your Halloween party. The enemy will fall. It's incredibly important to take out the adult carbon criminals. <laughs> and the adolescents. But it's the babies that can grow up and resist us. Just like at Planned Parenthood, they can also fetch a nice price for their parts. <laughs> uh, China, unfortunately, just shut down our one-child policy that David Rockefeller set up. We're having some failures, but not for long. Bring in that mama right now. Good, good. There's always new enemies to fight. Carbon's everywhere on this planet. It's almost like we're carbon-based life forms. And just when they thought they were safe, I found another one. I mean, it's psychotic to say that pumpkins are evil and should be killed. This is a carbon-based life form as well. And that's what they're demonizing. They're setting the precedent that all life is bad because it exhales carbon dioxide or it puts off carbon dioxide. This is total insanity, and that's why we're here exposing it at InfoWars.com. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on 
on high. And it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud. We are the resistance. You are the resistance. You are the info war. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.